there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. This time on Dangerous Flights. Where the hell's the airport? Right there. Holy cow. Man versus Mountain. Oh my god. <laughs> you see the snow on the left side of the runway. A skating rink landing. Just the kind of chain of events that you read about in an accident report. And down to the wire. Waiting for the call. One delivery that just won't wait. feet, Carrie is losing it. it wasn't only wasted time. His brain isn't getting enough oxygen. <laughs> I probably can't last much longer without oxygen. Take my suit off. Marcio knows Carrie's in trouble. He's in he nearly passed out from low oxygen on this trip. I don't know what's going on. Do you really feel it? Yeah, you know, I understand that we have to help conserve oxygen, but if something happens to you in here right now that I have to really take care of you, it would be so problematic. It wouldn't be funny. The worst that could happen to carry is to pass out. And then what do I do? He is the pilot in command. He has experience. I need him. Uh, hey, that's hard to do at 18,000 feet. Come in. Their tiny Cirrus can only hold one oxygen tank. Uh, oxygen. Yeah. Give me a hit. Stay up high where the air is thin. They could run out. Thanks, man. Fly lower where there's more oxygen, and they use up all their gas. We can't really descend. We need to save fuel, or we're in deep It's 6.45 here, and uh, we've got a lot of flying today. We want to make it through WIC and then into France. Corey and Pete are behind schedule. Where's Pete? After letting loose two nights ago. Iceland! <laughs> I just needed a break, you know, from all the stresses of the flight, from the stresses back home, the stresses with the company. Met some local people, uh, just had a blast. Yeah. Now, we're not flying tomorrow. That, that is a clear and evident fact. Yeah! Witch doctor. 36 hours later, Pete's still recovering. Pete, you alive? Yeah. Did I ever sleep? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, he's giving me for sleeping in a little bit. Not today. Now it's time to get back to work. The pressure's even more now because we lost a good day of flying. We need to get the plane there, so we're going to push hard to make up for that day. The wings look good. We're topped off on fuel. We're ready to go. The only is on the reflectors flaps power. Now see your lights rotate 70, 75. Goodbye, Iceland. I love you. Ah, it's freaking beautiful, man. It is. 
fantastic. Pete and Corey have brought this 1990 Cessna caravan more than 8,000 kilometers, passing Kerry and Marcio in midair over the North Atlantic. Now they're approaching Scotland. Why? Why? Don't give me this crap. And a legend in the ferry business. And that's why the country's in the mess that it's in. No. So everybody knows Andrew. When you're coming in on your final leg across the Atlantic, and he's there, no matter what time you come. Do you want to get fired? Give me your boss. And that's huge to have what you expect in place when you get there. The greetings will be with you on the ramp in approximately 20 minutes. Okay, dokie. Okay, amigo, see you in about 20. Sure. 110 on the speed. Ready? Full flaps, please. Full flaps. Selected. Moving. Indicated. And you are clear to land, sir. Thank you. Show me how it's done, boss. Glad you, big dog. We're landing at Wick, and it's beautiful. The weather's great. So Super Pete has to show off a little bit. Ooh, I like it. Doing a little wheelie. <laughs> That's right. We're coming in in style. Keep it up. He does this incredible wheelie all the way down the runway. <laughs> Pete always has to show off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello, Andrew. How, How are you doing? Are you well? Oh, hey, good buddy. Day. Good to see you again. Good day today. Yes, it is a good day. Wonderful. He's Andrew the Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Across the ocean safely, another single-engine airplane. I think we're nuts. I believe that is the 645th crossing for me. <laughs> That's number two for me. <laughs> I, was, I had number two once. Well done. Number two. Nice man. job. We absolutely have to keep going. We need to at least make it to France today. Is that air traffic? What time do you close tonight? Andrew tries to lock down their landing in France. You're closed. Okay. Okay, but that past five or something. They're drunk already. Well, really, the French, in terms of making money in the business world, I, I don't know how they manage. Because they just really are either closed, stopped for lunch, or, or drinking wine. And, uh, it's very difficult to, to actually get to a, a French airport when it's open. It's crazy to me that these airports will just shut down. In the States, we can land at airports 24 hours a day. But in Europe, it's a whole different ball game. So we can't go to destination where it's closed. This really is not good. All right, Marcio, when we come into uh... Did he approach that goose? Carrie and Marcio are dead beat. And almost out of oxygen. They don't really have that far to go. But their brutal journey over the North Atlantic is nearly finished. 7 Charlie, I'll put your continued descent. 3,800. They're over land now. Got 70% trace of wet snow, 20% trace of flush. And that means one more big challenge on this leg. We got a freezing drizzle. Light snow and slippery runways at uh, Goose Bay. An airstrip that's more like a hockey rink. What would you like to do on this landing? Landing and approach. Uh, do you want to run radios or you want to fly? OK. I'll run the radios. All right. Marcio has only got a couple of landings on the Cirrus by himself. And they're still a little rough. This is going to be a really challenging one. I know I tend to take over if things aren't going just right. Maybe that's not always such a great idea. I know Kerry's nature. I know that that's the way he is. And he is almost, what, 80 years old or something? You know, so I'm not going to change him now. I'll keep my hands on my lap, if at all possible. Number 527 Charlie Alpha has airport in sight. 
Coming into Goose Bay, we have to go through a layer of clouds that has a lot of icing in it. Uh, you want me to take this? I'm Charlie, off the contact. It's okay. That's my one. Okay, got it. Okay, we're doing. Uh, we're going okay, pretty fast. Yeah, we're gonna level off now. I'll follow the river a little bit. Pretty fast. Slowing down. There's reduced visibility, a slippery runway, snow banks on the runway. Just the kind of chain of events that you read about in an accident report. I'm gonna call Jackson. It's my little boy's birthday, turned seven years old today, so it's pretty tough being on the other side of the world and missing his birthday, but hopefully I can get him on the phone and talk to him for a second. You go look at Jackson! What are you doing, big boy? Play with my new present. Can't believe you're seven years old. Are you having a good birthday? Uh-huh. I miss you, buddy. Miss you, too. I love you. Be a really good boy for mommy, okay? Okay. And have so much fun at your birthday party. Okay, buddy. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. That's the hardest part about this job is you're away a lot. Missed his birthday last year. Missed it again this year. But he sure sounds happy. You see the snow on the left side of the runway? Yep. OK. 115. Marcio has one chance to nail this landing. The runway is slippery. It's really windy. Visibility is crappy. I'm going to be ready. 86, 85, 86, 89. OK, 90, look at good. We'll do an 80. Good, look good. Can I ask, uh, who's your daddy? Nicely done, nicely done. Our sale. It's hard to describe. When we touch down, there's, there's so many feelings that go. It's you made it a single engine crossing. You out of this damn suit. You get in a hot meal. You can go to the bathroom. Ew. You know? Yeah, yeah, she likes that. Yeah. Oh, that little bit of an ego, too. You know, I made it across the Atlantic. And it's just that weight lifted from your shoulders. Feels pretty darn good. Another crossing in the bag. Hey, Marcio. Uh -huh. All right, my brother. No longer a single engine Atlantic Virgin, huh? Uh -huh. Nice landing, too. That's kind of a sporty one. It's uh, not a nice day here in Goose Bay, that's for sure. Yep. Oxygen, fuel, food, go. This crew has to make time. The Cirrus is due in Vegas. No, no, don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. Don't worry about it. Thank you, darling. Bye. And Marcio's wife is very due to have a baby. Oh, me. And everything was going so good, you know. And suddenly, this engine is frozen solid. This is bad. I can't believe this. Thanks for all your help. As right. always, lovely. You've been great. Thank you. I'll see you next time. All right, buddy. Okay. Pete and Corey got stuck here yesterday. Thanks, Andrew. 
Now they've got to make up a lot of time. Till next time, Wick. I'll miss you, baby. I'm afraid to check. This flight is different than most of the other flights I've done before. In the past, I've always been a co-pilot at best, but Pete gave me the challenge to really act as the captain on this flight, and I don't want to let anybody down. And Wick area traffic, November 388, November Tango is taxi for departure. There's more than 9,000 kilometers to go, including one of the world's steepest runways and a dangerous fuel stop in war-torn Sudan. Final stop, Kenya, where the client needs the plane now. Get a windsock. Yankee yeah, Echo, uh, Tango, give me a call on 130375, uh, Hey, Andrew, go ahead. Andrew's calling us on the radio. This is not good. And I bet we have a problem with our flight plan. OK, just spoken to Eurocontrol in Brussels, and uh, everybody going that way today is on a two-hour delay. Oh. Just um, this sucks. Flights all over Europe are on hold, and it could be weather, a traffic, volume, who knows? We're not going anywhere. Uh, welcome to Europe. How is that possible? Ah, uh, dude, it's... It is nuts. If it's not one thing, it's another. I know. I mean, this never happens in the States. No. I've never been... had to shut down. Here we go. They just don't want us to leave. Should we think about a different route, possibly? The problem is, if we cancel the flight plan oh, okay. and try a different route and get another slot time, it's going to be back. later yet. Well, we're I am frustrated. We've already been here for two and a half hours. And now they're saying it's going to be another four or five hours before we take off. All right, I think I found a problem. 800 meters overcast 100 to improve, but very slowly. And that's, I think, the problem we're getting with the weather in France. Right. If anything is in the lower elevation, it's got fog. Pete told me back in Iceland that when the weather's good, you need to keep going. But I really wanted that day off, and now we're paying for it. If we didn't take that day off, we would be past France right now. With this delay, it's even going to be harder to hit our deadline. We really need to get in the air. We need to start making some tracks and get going. This is Andrew Bruce. Yeah, 12.51. Andrew scrambles to get them deeper into Europe. When? But it's only three quarters of the distance they were hoping to cover. Right, Kyle. Bye. Well, right. we'll try this again. Thanks, Thanks for all your help. Hopefully, this time, <laughs> it will work. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> OK, Pete. We'll see you again, buddy. At least we're going somewhere. We're up against the system. The system, the trying to suppress the man. <laughs> Elation overcomes me because I need to move and we're moving. Quick traffic, November 388, November Tango back taxi one, runway one three. All right, power is set. Pressure temperatures look good, airspeed's alive. Check, check. Finally. Damn it. <laughs> Carrie and Marcio are in a holding pattern. Jeez. Their engine is frozen stiff. Come on, Hula Girl. Do your stuff. Shake your magic. Shake the magic all over the engine. Make it go vroom. You can do it. Use your heat. My magic touch, my magic touch. Get out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get the puppy. What? Marcio are now more than halfway through their trip. 
but there's still 5,000 kilometers before final delivery in Las Vegas. By day's end, they knock off another thousand. We were so lucky. The engine started and we're back on schedule. My next challenge, try to convince Marcio to go to my cabin in Wisconsin. Yeah, no. <laughs> Where's your sense of adventure? You're a spitter. Yeah, I'm sure. And I understand, you know, I mean, I, I, I am sure that you want to stop home and kiss the wife and uh, kick the dog, but... Uh, Got a unique opportunity on this flight. Right on the route from Montreal to Vegas is my home in Wisconsin. You know, I like to push through a little bit. Yeah, no. Right at one extra Quebec turn right heading three zero five degrees. And then November three eight eight, November Tango flight level one one zero, assigned heading one four five. November three eight eight, November Tango, Roger, continue with that heading. Roger. Is one is one of the busiest airspaces in the world. There's so much traffic getting out of here. Pete and Corey are on an aerial superhighway now. I bet, Corey, there are upwards of 200 planes around us at this moment. You gotta pay attention every second. This is new for me, acting as captain, and now we're in one of the world's busiest airspace. This is difficult. This is the busiest I've ever heard any controller, even flying into LA. It takes it to a new level. We cannot make a mistake. You really got to be listening for your radio calls, and you really got to stay on top of it. Just bam. We finally just got out of one of the craziest airspaces, and now everything's calming down in the cockpit. I got to go whiz, dude. And Pete tells me that he needs to go back and use the restroom. Dude, you gave me so much last time. Uh, I hope the line is frozen for you, just so you can understand what I had to go through. Oh, God, this is gross. Whoa. How's the pee going, Corey? Whoopsie, a little turbulence. Sorry, buddy. You <laughs> Yes, Tower, we'd like to request an inverted roll, snap roll. I gotta go, man, it's my turn. Here we go, my source of relief. I've been waiting for this for days now. <laughs> All right, Junior. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> hey, back to our pitch. We hit a small pocket of turbulence. It went away. Uh, you get a big <laughs> you. <laughs> the real relief they both need now is a faster route through Europe. Pete's flown through Europe many times, and he accepts what they give him and, and just goes with the flow. But I want to push and see if we can get all the way to the Alps. Hey, do you think there's any chance that we could talk to these controllers and see if we could switch our destination to, to Annecy? I think it's possible. Uh, I think we'll have to ask some questions as we get further along. That would be awesome if we kind of beat the system. It's always important to me to make sure that we hit our deadline. We need to push hard to make sure this airplane gets there on time. I can change my flight destination in the US all day long. Easy. Hey guys, I'm going here instead of here. Done. That simple. Changing our destination in Europe, big problem. Bonjour, November 388, November Tango, flight level 150. Wondering how difficult it would be to reroute us to a uh, new destination. Uh, I figure it's going to be a miracle if they give it to us. And it's, and it's, it's the perfect stop. I mean, it's right right in the middle. If we can swing it at all, I would really oh, of love course. it. I want to go yeah. too, of course. Kerry sticks to his guns. Oh, come on. Determined to touch down in Wisconsin. My number one concern, it's my family. It's my wife getting ready to have a baby. Where do you live? 10 miles over Cat 1600, one degree. Yep, yeah, it's good. We have to make a stop anyway. All right, let's do this. I gotta compromise a little bit and help Carrie on this as well. It's important for him. 
Marcio finally agreed to it. More as a favor to me than anything else. Where are you going? I'm going to Minneapolis. I watch you. Yeah, but where are you going in the airplane? You're on the wrong side. What do you tell me? You're the captain. So the least I could do is make him pilot in command. To the left, my friend. Shazam! You've earned it. Don't make me regret this decision. All right, let's get out of here. Seven Charlie Alpha, holding chart. Transponder is set. Autopilot is ready to go. Kevin, he's on to frost. Hey, stand by. Ooh, you can't see much, can you? Got kind of nasty out. On our climb, I'd say 120 minimum. Sure. Speed up. Oh, no. Does that just sound good to you? Engine? We've been having trouble with this engine for the entire trip, but usually it's as we're descending and coming in for a landing. Okay, it's up, man. Not at 24,000 feet. I have no idea why it's running rough now, and that really makes me nervous. What the f Of course. Now we are at 24,000 feet, and uh, the engine wants to quit. That's not good, right? Two engines is better than one. On this one, all our eggs are in one basket. If that one engine stops, we are screwed. And I hate when that happens. Get that hiccup. Oh, what the hell? It's like an electric shock. It is indeed. But shortly after acting up. The engine settles down again. That sounds better. That's odd. You know, sometimes it happens. The engine stops or starts making weird noises. And then, like a miracle, it's gone. It's a mystery. Well, Marcio, see him? It looks like we're going to be able to make the nominee today. Um, I got a couple of my boys coming over. Usually, Saturday nights, we get together a lot of times at my cabin. I got a little hunt shack close to my house. We play little cards, we smoke some cigars, and uh, tell flying stories and lie to each other. Um, Want to come and join us tonight? Kiss my arm. Oh, okay, 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 please, okay. please. Well, if my wife hears that I'm spending the night with the boys, I think she'll be very upset. She's eight and a half months pregnant, but there is a reason for it. Here at 7 Charlie Alpha. We have to go to sleep and eat and take a shower anyway. One zero miles, advise the field in sight. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Lucchese's hand flying the airplane. Go for people. Marcio, this is my wife, Kathy. Nice heard a lot about you. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Now those hours flying, you get to Ooh. chat. Yeah, yeah, a couple <laughs> things here and there. You must know more than I do about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty happy that, that we have this opportunity here to just uh, take a little pit stop in the middle of the trip and recharge and get some clean underwear. Kind of important. Kind of need it. Really bad. <laughs> and Marcio needs a square meal really bad. This sandwich is four days old. We bought it in Iceland, and I found it under the seat. <laughs> this trip worried me more, just um, the lead up to it, and it being winter, it was colder, it was 
nastier. It just, it kind of unnerved me this time that I typically don't get unnerved by his trips. Welcome home. Hey, thanks, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Chris is my buddy, Marcio. Marcio, good to oh, meet I, you, sir. Chris, I, I could. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. When you fly with another pilot on a ferry flight for a couple of weeks, you get to be real close. It was really a great opportunity to bring Marcio to the hunting cabin and meet all my flying army buddies and uh, smoke those uh, cigars we've been hanging on to for the last two weeks. That's a big <laughs> cigar. And that's how you do it. Scotch. Yeah, scotch is good. Thanks, buddy. Scotch is good. Thank you, Rob. All right. Well, gentlemen, you know, I love going on the road. I love ferry trips. I love the adventure and the travel and, you know, everything that you get to see. But home is home. Oh, look at this. Steak action going on here. You know, this is what I live for. Hanging out with my flying friends, my pilot buddies. Some good drinks, some good friends. Great flying stories. All right, gentlemen, unfortunately, we've got to go because Marcy and I have our trip to finish. Uh, we expect you guys to finish the evening for us. But uh, hey, you know, pilots everywhere, blue skies, tailwinds, and fly fast and take chances. Cheers. Cheers. This has been awesome. We intended to go to Lima, Foxtrot, Lima, Papa. Wonder if how difficult it would be to reroute if the weather uh, improved. Can you say again? I understood Lima, Foxtrot, Lima, Papa. Pete and Corey only have permission to get to northern France. They're pushing to go all the way down to the Alps. How difficult would it be to reroute us to our new destination? Number 388, number Tango, no problem, I call you back. Dude, killed it. Barry worked with us. Thank you, Barry. Sorry, boom. So we got this win. We changed our destination. It's a miracle. We're going to the Alps. That's awesome. It's awesome. Until the controller gives them the details. Then Pilgo, Bravo, India, Lima, Golf, Oscar. This is really not good. I'm looking at the routing he's given us, and we're going all over France. This routing is horrible. The route is all the way around France, it looks yeah, like. All the way around Paris. Paris is a big chunk of airspace. And, uh, well, he's gonna add some distance to us. Uh, this is gonna be tough. The routing is all over hell. We're not gonna have enough fuel. Are you moving fuel? I went ready to send Father with two cars there. I was going to go. level now. Boy, that's not a lot. Um, we don't want to be tight on fuel and have to divert, and the weather closes in. There's fog. Now we gotta work our fuel magic. We're at 15,000 feet. We're losing our tailwind because of the routing they're giving us. I'm watching the fuel. Not good. And Barry, November 388, November Tango's estimating uh, Annecy at 1623. Thank you very much, November Tango. 1623, that's copied. Roger, there you go. And we're trying everything we can to conserve fuel. And it's really hurt. I got the fuel way down, but our speed comes way down too. I don't know if we're gonna have enough fuel. We need direct to the airport is what we need right now. And if they keep turning us, we're gonna have to change our plans. We can't be out here flying circles and get stupid. We've done everything we can. We brought the power all the way back. The power's way back with, you know. Now we're getting jerked all around. France. Our route is anything but a straight line. And we're we're right at our minimum reserve. Everything stays the same. We're right at our minimum reserve when we land. November Tango expect uh, hold at uh, Viri. Expect hold means they're just going to put us there spinning in circles. We're not going to have the fuel to make it. There's no choice. Okay, we're gonna have to divert to a, a closer airport, maybe Lyon. They have to land early. We have, uh, we'll be too tight on fuel. 
Roger, so it's an uh, emergency uh, for fuel. You can't uh, even uh, wait uh, to hold. Yeah, we'd rather not. We're not familiar with the airport. Uh, we would rather divert to Lyon and play it safe. Lyon Airport has two good runways. Okay, let's bring up Lyon. Yeah, got it up. And the remaining fuel will get them there. I don't want to declare an emergency because it's not an emergency. Uh, November, Tango, so it's not uh, an emergency. You don't want to play that card unless you need to. Yes, to be clear, it is not an emergency. We're just being conservative and like the route to Lyon um, at this time. Lyon is just 83 kilometers short of their goal to reach the Alps today. It is so frustrating. Our airport is only like 10 minutes away from here, but we need to get this airplane on the ground now. We're just getting ready for our arrival, watching everything very closely. How's that balance looking? Okay. Main 10 what is your heading? That heading now is 200. If they screw around with us anymore, we will. Turkish, uh, Lima Sierra, turn the left, direct to Rizzo, contact Marseille, 126, Doing a good job, Corey. Well, I really did want to tour France, but not low on fuel above the clouds. <laughs> Roger that. And as Carrie would say, run away to try another day. <laughs> and we are 90 knots coming down. 85. just crazy lots of highs and lows we landed just short of our intended airport extra fees extra time it's been crazy it's just gorgeous carrie and marcio are in the home stretch Oh my God, we are under an hour from being done. Not a moment too soon for Marcio and his very pregnant wife. It looks like you just might make it after all. Or as you're uh, being there for your baby's birth. Yeah. yeah. That had to be tough. Just the stress of day after day going, man. Yeah. Anytime, anytime I could miss this. They got a new career, uh, single engine Atlantic Ferry Crossing dude. Oh, you're done? If it's not scary, it's not fun. Wish you luck. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I need it. Right, check it out. You know what I see, Marcio? See Vegas, baby. It's Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby, Vegas. Marcio doesn't waste a second. He heads home to San Diego. Carrie's got some homework, too. Hey, Claire. Hey. And guess where I am? Um, Greenland. <laughs> Vegas, baby. You made it to Vegas already? Yeah. No way. Marcio's got to get home. It's... His wife is uh, she's getting ready to pop, so. Cool like man, here we are. That's so exciting. Claire's a pilot, and Corey's got a plane delivery planned for the two of us. We'll do a couple of pre-flight warm-ups in Wisconsin, and then she'll be my official co-pilot. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Been waiting. <laughs> All right, see you later. All right, love you. Love you, bye. <laughs> I seriously didn't think that this was going to happen, but this is the best news I've heard all day, so I'm pumped. <laughs> As you know, we're going to go into one of the deadliest airports in the world. Top 10, baby. Yep. After a short flight from Lyon, 
Pete and Corey are really looking forward to the next leg. We're landing at Courcheval, a runway that's in the middle of a ski resort, but it's right on our way. It's right on our way. We have to do this. This is on the bucket list. Pete's already got the training for this mountain landing. During the final, there is no missed approach because in front of you, you have a mountain. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah, that's We're bad. Done. But there's no instructor on board this time. You got to land on this very early piece of it because the other section goes up very steeply and you basically have to climb to the runway. Then you power up the runway. <laughs> it's sketchy, man. Next stop, the most dangerous airports in the world is... We'll see why. The Alps. I pump. We'll be at 7,000 feet for the approach. And this arrival procedure is all done at 7,000. Okay. There's some big mountains here. Holy cow. Yep. I made in time, barely in time. It was really, really close. I got home last night. Little Juliana is here. And I'm on a delivering a baby situation from a flying an airplane across the ocean situation. <laughs> wow. Everything went well. Papa was here. Right? Oh, look at, oh, look at that. <laughs> Juliana. Marcia called me from Las Vegas. And I, I told him he better rush and no more excuses. Just get home. Because um, I could tell it was pretty close. Come on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Now it's, it's very different now. It has to be really, really worth my time to go live home, uh, to go do this. Well, I'm happy to be back home. There's a lot of things that I'm behind in my life. So, you know, you start to get out of that fairy mode into the back to reality mode. And I told the guys in the office, I'm gonna unplug this phone for a week. <laughs> How are you doing, Delmer? Long time no see. Listen, uh, uh, here's the story. Uh, 32 minutes later, I am already on the phone trying to get another gig, you know? Do you happen to have a India visa? It's just a bad drug, man. That's what it is, to be honest with you. This is just a bad drug. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> Cheval is a pilot's Mount Everest. Airspeed's looking good. The kind of challenge that earns a guy solid bragging rights. Get stressing it up. It's a very, very serious place to fly into. Pete's got the controls, but Corey has to have his back. We just have to be scrutinizing every single aspect of this airplane. As we get on this arrival, we're setting ourselves up to be precisely where we need to be at every moment. Speed, flaps, and et cetera. We have our speed at 80 exactly. Can't go around. Okay. Not an option. I can't stress it enough. So the speeds have to be right on, correcting every tiny little difference that can come up from the wind, from the atmosphere. You can tell that Pete is on his A game. He is fully concentrated. This is a big deal. Oh. Cow. That little drop off where the snow is, that is what we're aiming for, short of that. We gotta land on that first piece, that's the board, the board level piece, and flare onto that. Okay. 20 degrees, 105 knots. Full flaps. Full flaps selected, moving, indicated. Uh, just to let you know there's a mountain right in front of them. Yeah, you gotta go right, right at the mountain. 80. 
79. 80. 80. Next time on Dangerous Flights, Good for this kid. Yes. a new recruit gets the okay. gears. That's not what you said. I, I, did, I didn't catch it. This is, you know, this is a big problem, huh? Touchdown in one of the world's most unstable places. We've got cameras all over this airplane. It's illegal to film in Sudan. And a sound Whoa. you never want to hear. What was that?